As 2023 comes to an end, I want to take this opportunity to wish my constituents of Castro South and every St. Lucian season greetings and God's continued blessings. This year has indeed been filled with many achievements, and as a nation, we should be proud of these. Our people continue to excel in all areas at the local, regional and international level, which is testament to our character. We must continue to encourage this excellence and invest in our human capital. Let us use these successes to build an even stronger platform for growth going into 2024. I want to say a special thank you to my constituents. They continue to support me and give me the strength to continue the hard work. This is why I do it, to make a positive difference in the lives of people both in my constituency and in St. Lucia. We continue to provide the necessary assistance to the people in Castle South who need it the most. Through the various government programs, we offer assistance for back to school, laptops, school fees, exam payments, medical bills, purchase of medicine, funeral support, and food vouchers. Such support is given to those who need it most throughout the year so they can enjoy the basic needs of life. The constituency office also embarked on several short-term employment campaigns to create much needed economic activity in the communities. These programs are aimed at creating employment and rebuilding the ideology of community. This must never be lost as we aim to reduce the level of violence across the island. Let me take this opportunity to share my condolences with the families and friends of those that have been victims of violence throughout. We will continue to make investments in our national security to prevent these crimes, but also develop the social programs to help change the mindset of persons who are tempted to commit such horrendous and selfless acts of violence. In the spirit of Christmas, I appeal for more love and caring from each other and for everyone to find alternative means of resolving conflict. In Castries South, we undertook a project with the Ministry of Sports for the rehabilitation of the Cicero playing field. The project has been completed and hosted its first football competition with roughly 10 teams from across the constituency. The Marigo and Bassa Joseph roads have been totally rebuilt. The Bassa Joseph Community Centre is now being completed. We are currently in the process of assessing other facilities in the constituency that are in need of repairs and renovations. I will continue to work in the best interest of all my constituents and make Castro South a better place for all. Our tourism industry continues to grow and recover from the downturn brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic. Stay-over tourist arrivals continue to grow steadily going into 2024 after a solid performance in 2023, even though it was impacted by the airline's low supply of planes and staff. Despite this, the 2023-24 winter season has seen the return of Virgin Atlantic and TUI from the United Kingdom, again which will boost our capacity from that market. Regionally, we are still in discussions with stakeholders to rebuild our regional air travel network. This has severely hampered our efforts to increase our regional tourism. We do hope that we can make strides in this effort going into the new year. All of our other markets continue to perform at high levels and the airlines have been adding seats to those high-performing routes to meet the demand. In true St. Lucian excellence, our fair Helen has again won the Caribbean and world leading honeymoon destination and the Caribbean's leading adventure destination. We were also able to capture for the first time Caribbean's leading nature destination at the Caribbean and the Americas Gala Ceremony 2023 held in St. Lucia. As a nation and as a people, we must be proud of these achievements as they show the true talent of our people. Culturally, our carnival, emancipation and junior creole activities brought our streets alive with people from communities across the island and countries across the world. As a campaign promise and part of our 2021 party manifesto, we saw the return of our beloved and world-renowned St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival in its original form. I want to say kudos to the St. Lucia Tourism Authority, Events Company of St. Lucia, the Cultural Development Foundation, and all other stakeholders for a success-filled jazz festival.
We are a strong and resilient nation. Let us continue to work together for the overall success of St. Lucia. Let us celebrate this amazing time of year. Let the birth of Jesus Christ remind us that we must do good unto each other. So let the season bring joy to our lives, fill our hearts with love, and bring laughter in homes. Merry Christmas, St. Lucia. Stay safe during the season, and may God bless our beautiful nation.